Well, we're going to talk about abundance. That's a good subject to talk about at Christmas time. We look in our checkbooks to see what the balance is, and then we look at our Christmas lists of all the things we desire to buy. And the reason we desire to buy things for people is we want to, in our small way, bring them happiness. And this is the promise of God's abundance. In John 10, verse 10, it says, I have come that they might have life. Well, we all have life, but sometimes in life we just trudge our way through, complaining our way through our days. Now the Bible, quote, continues, and that they may have it, meaning life, more abundantly, more abundantly. God is the giver, and we are the receivers, and God's richest gifts are bestowed not upon those who do the greatest things, but upon those that accept God's abundance and God's grace. So if we are to accept it, what is this abundance in its fullness from God? When the Bible describes God's promise of the abundant life, it is talking about much more, my friend, than the acquisition of material riches or even earthly fame that a lot of us pray for. Actually, it is talking about something that is much better When God's words promises that we can experience abundance, especially at this time of Christmas, it's describing a higher spiritual plane, an elevated level of emotional maturity, a sense of genuine security that gives a daily meaning and a richness to life. All of us are free at any time to accept God's gifts. You know, we think at Christmas time that we're the giver of gifts, but we also have to be the receiver of gifts and from the ultimate giver of all, and that is God. Now, we have a choice. We can accept these gifts or we can reject these gifts. And I pray this Christmas that you accept the gifts from God, that you accept the abundance. Because today and every day, you're surrounded with God's blessings. But it's up to you to recognize them and to fully embrace them in your daily life. Open your mind and your heart to God's riches. And then from that wonderful high vantage point of spirituality. Share those riches with your family and with your friends who are in desperate need of that kind of abundance. I pray that you have a very, very Merry Christmas. God bless you.